Listen, it's it's entirely possible for FaZe to do this. Uh, they have to minimize mistakes. Obviously, you cannot ever let a mistake of the of the caliber that happened with the Ninja Diffuse that Shox busted out. That kind of a mistake is unforgivable. The other part is I, I we need to see some some like if Nico's gonna have the great performance he had in the first half on Nuke, he was twenty two and five. He only had five kills in the second half. Like that that level of cooling off just cannot happen no matter who it is, not just Nico, anyone. It has to be more consistent across both sides of the map. Pissed around would be great to get phase something positive, and that's not a good start. Zaiwu, immediate headshot, but can't build upon it. It's a cool, cool idea though. I like it. And with shocks up there, I mean Shox was probably hoping that someone would peek to help out in the middle and then he could take them down. Didn't work out that way. And some damage onto Apex here. Good chance maybe for an attack on the A bomb side, although the USPs are always dangerous. There's a Molotov on Cold Zero. Is it going to land on top of Shocks? That's the big question. Might just force him out into the open. I don't know why they stopped there on the catwalk. It looks like they've slowed themselves way down to fight the USPs at range. I can't recommend it. And this is the reason why Misutra and RPK hitting nothing but headshots. And they'll get picked apart. I don't... It seemed like they got stuck on each other or something. What was going on there? Bamas missed the jump over the ledge. He got caught and he had to go for the rejump over it. I don't know why that would slow down the entire team from swinging out wide, but but it certainly did. And you're exactly right. They never properly made it out of that choke point. And the, the other unfortunate thing, Brokey was able to pick up the USP off of Zaiwu's push. So he actually had a weapon to be able to fight back at that range. He gets dropped immediately with a very clean headshot. Two kills for RPK, two kills for Masuta. They were the two A defenders. And Faye's going to have to get something done with this one, two deagles, excuse me. I feel like the power of throwing the Molotov to begin with would be that you could keep running against the bomb site, and Shox has to relocate back down to the ramp before he could sort of turn around and fight you. And by then, you know, maybe you're close enough for the for the Glocks to do something. But if you throw the Molotov and let him, you know, get back and you're not even close to being there, he could just easily continue the fight. He's not even worried about it. Nice enough trade. Nico will take a quick shot there. He tried over at long and wasn't really successful at it. But yeah, you mentioned it earlier, the the uh, the breakdown, the mental breakdown from that Ninja Defuse. I saw Henry was tweeting about it as well, all fired up. Uh, but, you know, you've got to find a way to put that behind well, you. Henry's the expert on mental breakdowns. So, you know, when he speaks out about that, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. I think I think we've got a new Henry, <laughs> to be honest, Jason. I've, Henry and I've been talking last couple of days. That's all a joke. He seems he seems yeah. fully sane to me. He does seem pretty sane these days. I like to hear it. Nico gonna go down as well. Triple kill from RPK, and two to nothing for Vitality. Well, I just realized either Henry's sane or I've. Or, or we're both not. That's it's that's a that's a hard call to make. Anyway, uh, right. One of one of you has made the leap to the level of the <laughs> yeah, other. We just yeah. don't know if it's a leap up or a leap down. It's not clear yet. Um, third round is going to be AKs versus Scout and M4 for Mars and a couple of MP9s. Some of that on Dust 2 could uh, could not be quite good enough to take up the fight versus AK-47s. It all obviously depends on where you find yourself. They've got three over a long in the beginning allocated in case there was going to be some sort of a, a heavy attack out there. But FaZe have gone for a completely default setup, which is fine. Yeah, slow and measured at the start. Nico's going to get pop flash into the double doors, but he ooh, doesn't take advantage of it. Doesn't want to peek that early. So at the moment, still just mid control off the back of Nico holding left mid rain and Brokey going to work their way up to catwalk. Three players are going to be here. They can force back any defense. At the moment, it's Shocks with an SMG at the railing. And this is where ooh, the aggression. That's so cool. Cold Zara is blind. And it's just going to continue getting pissed off from the first half or for the first map. Some of the deaths he took there yeah. just never allowed him into the game. And what an awesome start for RPK. And sort of echoes of, of how, you know, they would try and go outside or nuke to, to fight them even on the CT side. They were just way more proactive on their defense as well. So you like to see it. Apex, though, alone in the site. Really uncomfortable here with the Famas. He'll get taken down. It's a nice shot from Nico. Masuta spraying them both down with the bomb in middle. And Shox was there as well. That's a great fight that they uh, just win almost immediately. Nico's going to try and fight his way back, but it won't be possible. And Famas is low on health already. That middle portion of the fight was absolutely critical. 
Yeah, and I mean, that's that's crazy. It makes me feel like Vitality just have such a good read at what FaZe is doing at the moment, that they would have shocks with an SMG, never go back to the A-bomb so He was never at railing. He was always on the ramp, always in CT spawn, ready to get close up towards middle. Triple kill in the round for shocks, and Vitality is up by three. Yeah, but I mean, the, that's what we've been talking about so far, right? The level of preparation on, on Vitality is, is really shining through. They just look like they have such a good understanding of what's happening. Well, and they're also being proactive. Like, that's RPK pushing into Cave, which is a relatively dangerous thing to begin with, and getting Pop Flash over to peek out and find that kill towards Car. Like, you just don't see that kind of a play too often. And definitely not one that's set up. It's usually one player going for a surprising flank. Yeah. It's really... It's just very encouraging to see. CT sides usually could be could be a bit rough because again you end up just being the recipient of a lot of attacks and you sort of have to try and adjust to it. But Vitality do the best they can to try and make sure that they're actually the ones who who keep the pressure on and and keep Phase guessing and, and maybe a little bit nervous too. They're all grouped up, so could be uh, the victims of a couple of good Molotovs. No HE grenades left, but uh, still with enough fire on the ground, it could be real awkward. Looking like a potential run boost, which we always love. One way or the other, they're going to be funny. Oh, no. They they failed before it even got going. Yeah, laugh now, Chuckles. Here we go. <laughs> Brokey is going to be able to turn the corner. No one spotted him yet. He's actually very close up. Oh, he's got an angle, and the Glock is going to take down Zywu. I don't know why Zywu didn't pipe, peek that whole time. What? Cold Zera, the double deeg. Bomb is even tossed back up into the site. I cannot believe this has turned around. I have no idea why Vitality didn't just peek the corner. They just they just planted themselves in the middle of the cross. They're like, here we are, ready to fight. Like, look at where they've where they've died. Why why weren't they just at least at the corner? That is, that's way overconfident, even against I'd, pistols. There, yeah. There's so many issues. I have I have no idea why Zaiwu never peeked rail. Why it was he was spamming on the left side towards towards the smokes on Catwalk, it's like they never knew that FaZe was actually going to be executing around those smokes. What a gift. That, yeah, that's a round that probably they didn't even imagine could be could be winnable. And yet, here we are. The run boost. Behind the smoke as well. Got him close. Quick. And as you said, Simon never took a peek there. Yeah, a lot of, uh, uh, just like a series of mistakes here, really, in a lot of ways. Some great shots from Cold Zero. That'll really help out. Oh, yeah, back to back. I mean, it's kind of hard to uh, to imagine that that would happen. That's nice. We, I, This is my bit. This is the thing that I need. I'm, I need Cold Zero in this game. I, I feel like the level of uh, anger must be rising at all times. He's, he's got to find an outlet for it, and hopefully it won't be his webcam. It'll be, it'll be in the game. It'll be Vitality. That's what we'd like to see out of it. Six kills on RPK to start this map, just four rounds in. That's a great nade towards top mid. Bamas down to 54, Rain at 63. Peak off of Catwalk. They were lined up. The follow-up nade, and look at the way that Vitality has this set up. So many different layers of holding on to Catwalk. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's lucky that Nico and Rain weren't closer to that second grenade, or they would have gone down as well. RPK out in the open, though, and the FAMAS still tapping away and taking down Rain. It's really good to see. Saibu probably would have had that kill but he just unscoped at the wrong time. Now he's gonna throw a little bit of a flashbang to buy some time. Cold Sierra is dead up on the catwalk. Nico is next in line, and that leaves Brokina one versus three, and they know exactly where he's coming from. He's gonna get the one kill, but it won't matter. Cyber will take him down. They'll save the AWP and the AK-47, and Vitality are right back to winning, which, you know, you get that gift of the last round with the Deagles. We talked about this a lot, but when you get an opening like that, it's really only a you know, it's only as big as an opening as, as you can actually get rounds from. Like, you need to build something on it. Just giving it yeah, right back. Yeah, and that's, good that's an issue they had. That's an issue they had on Nuke as well. I mean, just it took a long time for them to figure out. Remember, they, they had Vitality to reset stage for a few rounds, just could never figure out how to complete it. Might be happening again here. Good hold from Vitality. Pop flash over. Apex around the door. And nobody shows themselves just yet. Apex close to middle, position that sometimes is Molotov then and just sprayed at. So far, pop flashes. He does turn for it. Ooh, fires a little bit early. They line up for shocks, but there's so many targets and 
They didn't get the kill. Now Misuta, the only one that can beat, keep the B-bomb side alive. And what a job that is uh, for him to have. They're coming in behind him as well. And they were patiently waiting. That's that's an all-round, just a good round out of phase. And something they can probably repeat. Like, that's a round you can go back to. Yeah, I mean, a nice little shoulder peek out Apex to give up his location. And then, obviously, a good hold on the left side of middle. So yeah, they've they've cracked in, and it's still the money is going to be low for Vitality in the next round. This this might be the reset phase was looking to early on, but it should just be the AWP and the M4 on Zaiwu and RPK. Maybe some upgraded pistols around it, but FaZe are going to get their second round and a chance to even up the score and thin out this lead a little bit. Yeah, I guess that that was the one thing we didn't talk about earlier, right? But when they lost that last round, it was a two on one. So they did the damage, and, and that kind of comes back to, to haunt them a bit here. Vitality, second round for FaZe. So far it's Nico at five kills on top of the board for FaZe, even though it's a little bit early on to really talk about kills. RP Keldo with eight and two on the other side. He's, doing, he's having a really good game at the moment. You've got to oh imagine. Oh dear. Timeout, an early one called from Vitality. And now, remember on Nuke as well, Vitality took, I think, three timeouts in that first half. And they did that largely to make sure, like, I mean, to figure out exactly what FaZe was doing because FaZe got out to that hot start. But these are not wasted timeouts as, as we could see from that map. Vitality was able to come back in the first half, set themselves up nicely in the second half to make sure, to, I mean, it gave them four map points as well. They just kind of yeah. failed when it got to that to that stage. But the timeout going into a force buy, critically important for Vitality. I thought it would be just some upgraded pistols. We've got a Famas on Apex. We have a full investment with the SMG on Shocks and a Deagle on Masuta. Yeah, that one orb on Saibu again could be very, very dangerous. He's out on long looking for a kill. His mission really in this round, I think, is to, to move around and find kills and then like just keep moving and finding more kills. He's been falling back from long already from the first second more or less. Just didn't want to stick around. Down to the middle it seems like with a three-man stack at B. So we kind of know what they're hoping for here, Vitality. We've left RPK alone over at long, so no brokey. He sees this coming as well. Who's going to win this fight? It could be real important. Saiwu just on the edge. And oh, oh, no. It looked like he scoped an extra time. Probably could add that kill right away. RPK will go down. And Cold Zero going to be relieved. He can win that fight. The bomb is in the middle, and someone is going to have to go pick that up and to avoid any kind of disaster here. Don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, the bomb. Apex has just found it. What in God's name yeah, is going on? Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> it's way too late. And there goes Bimas. He was not ready. Nico tapping away, knows Shox is on the box. That's an impossible situation. He's frozen in the open, and boy, we said a mistake. Those epic mistakes that they made with the Ninja Diffuse cannot happen. They're on the verge of allowing one right here. And Cold Zeros fought them back into this round with a triple kill. Rain's gonna find this relatively clear, but the longer they take, there's 25 seconds. The AWP is going to be dangerous, and now you have shocks rotating behind them. They must get up catwalk immediately. Yeah. 15 seconds on the clock. Saibu's down in CT spawn. I don't know if he could stop the plant with a jump shot. That would be quite something. He's hearing them. You can actually shoot through this, uh, but it won't do any damage nearly. Five seconds left. He's close enough. Is he going to try a jump? Three seconds, two seconds. Oh, my God! Oh, He's no! got to be kidding! He takes him down! That is some of the most insane stuff I've ever seen! It is the confidence. It's like you never doubted that that was going to hit. That's unbelievable. Doesn't even take a second shot at it. I can't deal and with this yeah, any longer. <laughs> it took some kind of ridiculous shot to actually close that round out for Vitality. But you've got to say again, FaZe should have never been in that position. No, they shouldn't have. What in God's name did we just see, Jason? I have no idea. I... I'm just so... In, in, stunned. Like, the, the conversation between maps had to have been, you know, the focus, not letting things like that Ninja Diffuse happen. And this time, 
you just leave the bomb all the way at top middle in the most exposed position on the map. Well, how do you recover? Ninja Diffuser jumping old no scope. Surely things can't get much worse from here on out. It's two on five right now for uh, in terms of the score here on Dust 2. Brokey's holding the corner. Sambu's on the other side. A bit of a flash to set it up. I can't believe he didn't hit that shot. It looked like the bullet went right through him. They're going to get a good kill anyway. Cold Sierra had a triple in the last round. And I mean, again, that could be the one thing that could... We talked about him getting angry and potentially, you know, that warming him up in the game. He's had four kills in, in the last two rounds here so far. Could be more to come, but yeah, if, if that's going to be something that'll happen here, that, that could be a net positive for FaZe. Molotov towards the car. I don't think it landed where they wanted it to, but no one's there anyways. Apex is going to get aggressive on Catwalk with the nade. The smoke combination is going to slow things down. That'll expire on 40 seconds as he turns from a flashbang. And FaZe wisely looking behind them for any kind of flank from lower or upper dark. And the whole strategy right now is to keep Zaiwu pinned down at the site and eventually when Apex falls this defense collapses and Apex must fall but no turn of the corner for Nico there it is and now Zaiwu has to get aggressive has to make his play inside of the bomb site he had no other option when well, Nico ready in case anyone's gonna try and join there good turnaround nice round coming out Again, I mean, you ha I just can't even imagine how difficult it must be for FaZe to keep the focus, but that round did look really, really solid. And you're right, they, they knew what was coming as soon as they won that fight against Apex. They had Saimu on lockdown, and uh, that's the money gone for Vitality, so it's, it's not looking as bad as it seems. No, it's it's not. It just doesn't it doesn't feel great quite yet, which I mean in the grand scheme doesn't doesn't really matter as long as raises phase is cranking rounds on the board. But between I mean not being able to follow up, they still haven't won consecutive rounds. The bomb drop is is very confusing. I think it's just a little bit difficult. It's still a little touch and go if you're gonna feel comfortable getting fully behind phase in this map, despite the fact that they've they've showed some very good things. So they it, it, and they've probably played a better half once the guns have come out outside of those mistakes but it's hard to isolate those. Well, this is around, needless to say, that they just cannot give up. Molotov there, oh no, they're gonna lose two people right <laughs> off the bat. Cyber and shocks with instant headshots. At least the bomb is far away, Jason. We've got that to control ourselves with. Cold Sierra is still it's getting kills. It's not much of a consolation. Yeah, this this is just weird seeing FaZe struggle so much. Or at least maybe it's maybe the conversation is even more on Vitality. These setups that they have just always seem to be so on point. They seem yeah. to be so effective. Vitality is coming in with such a phenomenal game plan. The nade stack and the combination with the Catwalk peak a few rounds back. Now you have the double peak on Catwalk. It's all working out. Masuka's going to come in late. Oh my god, and he's found such a fortunate timing. Bimas had just taken a nade out. And they just spotted Cold in the middle, so they know that Brokey's here alone with 30 seconds. Kill on Cold Sierra, leaving it in a one versus three. He's going to go straight for the one plant before more people show up. AK-47 against three. Another smoke there is going to be helpful, but they can still obviously just run right through, and I'm sure they will eventually. They've got a Molotov to try and make his life very tricky, and he's just trying to move out of the bomb site. He does not want to get stuck in here. And they're setting up for it. Just a couple of more seconds for that smoke to fade. And then they're going to come for him. They do not have a defuse kit, which actually gives him a bit of a shot. If he could just get one kill and delay it a bit. He's checked upper and no one is there. And now they're right behind him. Turn around for Brokey. He gets one and nearly a double kill. But they're going to be on the bomb. And they should have enough time to defuse it here, even though they did uh, wait quite a bit. Still, what a shocking round to lose. This is just so devastating to phase. Yeah, the kills on Catwalk are one thing, but FaZe could never find a way to, to work together. That was a great entrance, I think, into the B-bomb site. Bimas lurking in, but just the timing of that peak is so hard to deal with. And that's, uh, now you, once again, you go back to, can FaZe stay mentally focused with this many hiccups early on in Dust 2? It's got to be tough. Cold Zero with eight kills, Nico with seven. But FaZe are three rounds back. You're just, you're getting that, that like vintage Astralis feeling where everything you want to do is going to cost you. Like there's just, there's no, nothing you get for free. Everything is hard. Everything is tricky. Every round you feel like, oh, we could, like you're going to have to pay with a bunch of rifles. It's, 
It's really, really hard to see. Didn't expect it. Vitality showing great form right now. Flashed into the middle for a beautiful fight. Masuta with a double and make it a triple at the end. Why not? And they absolutely shut them out. That was the same kind of beast that we saw earlier that worked so well for FaZe. And Vitality just said, nope, that's off the table. Man, that's uh, not even a chance for FaZe to get through that smoke. Masuta played that perfectly. Four round lead for Vitality and FaZe is out of money. I, th I guess that's the hard part is if, if, if like FaZe have had their chances to gain the advantage in this game. They've had like two or three of them at this point already. And that's a lot for just being 10 rounds in. And they've just, they've just always failed right at the final hurdle. I don't know how much more of it. I, I I feel like in a game like this where it's obvious that like, you know, some some unforced errors out of phase, some fundamental mistakes, this is where despite perhaps an upgrade in other areas of the game, this is where you're really missing that experience and that that rock that Olaf Meister was. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely there's definitely some sort of breakdown that's happening here on the phase side. You can, you can sort of feel it. But again, as you were also pointing out, the fact that Vitality also starts putting on such a great show. Look at this, making expensive shocks nearly with a triple kill. If they would have got him for free, very, very good chance they win that, basically playing five versus three for a retake. But now it's not so clear. Oh, they see it. Spray coming through. That could have been a kill easily. Three on three for the afterplant, though, and two AKs have been picked up. They don't have any armor there on the T side, which makes this a lot more difficult. Molotov into the corner, and that's gonna burn Rain out. He does have a little bit of health, but still, they're rushing right at the same time. Beautiful flashbang as well to set it all up. And in the corner, they'll find Brokey, and that retake was, again, rock solid. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it also helps. They're going up against most of the unarmored opponents who'd been able to salvage what they could, but, I mean, that was always gonna be a long shot for FaZe to win, even when they got in and got the bomb planted. Nice double kill from Shocks. Nice flashbang from Zaiwu, and a kill on top of it. And they're handling everything that's been thrown at them. Eight to three, FaZe still not able to win two rounds in a row. I mean, you can, you can have a stumble, right? And get back up and, and brush it off. But it's been a lot here for FaZe. And I think that's, that's the question. How many times could they stumble and fall and still, and still go on pretending like things are fine and that it's not going to be an issue? Sharks in the middle on the other side. Playing around that smoke. He's got Brokey up there against him, so peeking this is dangerous. And he does get punished for it, but survives, which I guess is good news. Saiwu, that's a nicely timed nade. Rain is gonna eat the whole thing, and then he's gonna walk into the op shot. Flashbang popped a second after he peeked. I, maybe the Molotov is misthrown because Iwu didn't take any point of damage, but Rain was very confident in walking out in that fashion. And a 5 on 4 for Vitality. I almost feel like if you're going to throw that Molotov, surely the point is to actually peek, you know, a second after it lands. Because if there is an Opa there, that's when he's going to be falling back like Saiwu did. But, if he, but uh, you know, three seconds later, he's, he can just fall further back to the ledge and still get the shot. It, I think it's a play we saw I Device do a lot on this map. You know, from instead of falling back down into CT spawn. Yeah, I'm just amazed that he didn't wait for the flashbang that came a second yeah. later. Flashbang is going to come out to delay, and Zaiwu is going to come out help out towards long, and they'll give up the A bomb site. Apex is rotated over to watch it from the A ramp. Zaiwu is going to be aggressive around the smoke, and he's got one, he's got two, and he's dominant. Brokey, not even a chance for a response. Leg shot and easy cleanup. Nico's done great work at the A bomb site, but Zaiwu's on for the ace. 15 seconds. Yeah, but he's just going to be running. Why not? They know that there's no way he could get there and back again, so they don't even stick around the bomb. Such confidence. Brilliant round that assigned Wu, but you actually saw at the end there, because it was sort of a two-on-two -two or maybe even a, a three-on-two, if they would have had any victory down there at the long push, they could have brought the bomb up to Nico, basically beat everyone at the A-bomb site, and it would have been fine. But then nothing is working out right now. Nine to three in favor of Vitality. They are looking like an amazing team right now. You have to imagine complexity are going to be looking, uh, be watching this whole thing right now and and slightly thinking, man, this is this is going to be a real battle. I'm not not going to say that they're scared or anything, but but they know they've got a fight uh, ahead of them. Yeah, that should be that should be obvious. Shocks is getting bold, peeking up mid with the AWP. 
Hero AK on Nico, saved from the uh, the previous round. And I had just not a lot of utility. Two smokes and a flashbang to work with. I don't know where FaZe is going to feel like they can go that gives them an advantage. Nico had a couple nice kills up Catwalk. Maybe that's where they head back to. But this time it's two M4s at long, and Zaiwu with the car is the main defender of the A bomb site. So one flashbang is not enough to cross into the bomb site against that AWP. Absolutely amazing level of counter strike that's coming up, especially from Vitality right now. Phase, I don't know. It's very uh it's very far between we're seeing anything from them at the moment here. Look at a boost to look over the smoke, maybe with the AK. Seemed like they were set up for it. If no, they're gonna be rushing right through instead against RPK, who's been holding this position pretty well. Now they're against Saibu, he's gonna get the kill, he's ready for more. Cold does have a, an M4 on the other side, and he's gonna go for a wide swing. Still leaves him alone in a one versus three. And Apex wants to be flashed into the fight. They don't technically need to do this, but um, yeah, they're probably feeling the confidence right now. Apex will take him down with another flashbang set up there from Shocks, and it's 10 to three. Yeah, and then Vitality is showing throughout uh, throughout this this week of Counter Strike, and definitely in the last two or three games we've watched of them, that they have a uh, they're a force to be reckoned with. These flashbang setups that are improvised as the fights go on are so clean. And yeah, like why take the reskin peak? But it's such a low risk when you have those flashbangs coming in. There was two of them to allow him the safety of those peaks, those follow up peaks, and finally gets the kill. This is this is so impressive from Vitality. Zaiwu, or excuse me, that's probably Shocks. Almost goes down, but a missed shot from Brokey. More grenades are landing in the middle. Rain has taken a fair bit of damage for it. Cold is hearing all the jumping on the other side, but yeah, he has to know that is a bait. Saibu was just there with the AWP. Now he's going to go swinging into the fight. Saibu going to be called back in Cold Sierra. He can't really fall back from this position. There's fire right at his feet. Going to go for the spray through, but he's taking a lot of damage for it. Oh, I, that's a risky play, and he's lucky to be alive. Look at all the damage done, not just to Cold Zero. Nico right at half HP, but Moss able to get the one kill. Shox has a deep angle, and he's going to creep slower towards this peak. Will he commit to it? Flashbang in, and that I think that should force Shox away, but he's just brimming with confidence at the moment. Still an opportunity for Vitality to come back in this quickly. Four players at half HP or less. Here are the smokes, Rain, not going to be jumping down. Oh, he well, actually will, just a second later, into a secondary smoke. So he's in CT spawn, which is really awkward for Shox because he could go down if they come get him. And there's Nico rushing in with the kill. Rain flashed, but no one there to find him yet. Eventually, it'll be RPK to pick him up. And now it's a two on three with 20 seconds. The bomb is going to be planted at the very least, but they're in a lot of trouble here. And no delay. Molotov in, flashbang through, almost taking down Nico. Some good Molotov damage, and they're oh. going to start to fall back a little bit here to recover uh, maybe a couple of rifles instead of the AWPs. Are, are they going to go for this? It looks like they might. It looks like RPK is going to wrap all the way around. They're sticking yeah. close by. Nico's very low. Here it comes. RPK with the peak, but Nico's just gotten behind the box. Nico with one kill, and now they should back away. Apex is going to give it up, but RPK's already committed. No, they got them both. They I don't know do if it. they have time no, on this. Don't. He's going to get on it. Okay, Jesus. That was so late in the bomb. Yeah. Fourth round for FaZe, but that is a hard-fought win. I actually thought they were going to go through right as they threw in the first Molotovs, but I, get, I mean, that would have maybe been risky. It's hard to say. Regardless, nice hold from, from FaZe. Credited them for, for winning that round in spite of uh, it actually starting really badly. So, 10 to 4. Nades all across the middle. Able. Wow. Yeah, nice little push up mid. Look at all the scouts. One up, two scouts, M4 on Masuta. He's going to remain aggressive as well. Cold Zara never saw that coming, and all of a sudden it's just a long hit. And they're going to dry peek right into the crosshairs of an alt, but that's a missed shot. And now they can cross, but oh, everyone's here. There's so many Vitality players here. Nico's found the first on top of the car, and those AKs are going to work.
and FaZe have carved themselves out an opportunity for all the variety of pop flash setups and nade setups they've had and bait and switch setups they've had on the CT side. It's a pretty team effort. Like, everyone's up there right around that 10 frag mark. And again, that is very similar on Nuke. Everyone is very close within a certain range of each other. So just a team effort out of vitality and FaZe not getting enough production from individuals. Rain, nice tap away on Masuta, but cannot find safety. Good flashbang in, though, from Nico in the middle, setting that up for a little bit of a peek here from Bimas. Love the confidence on Rain, love the setup there with the flashbang to follow it. And Nico goes down as Saiwu with a P250 oh taking Lord. two of them with him in the grave. That is a nice way to equalize. Now, Colt here is on a massively fast flank. They might not be ready for this. He's a second away from swinging into the fight here. They do turn for it, but he's still going to take the face off of Shox. And now Apex knows he has to run, and he's going to run him down, turning back for it. It's Apex versus Cold Sierra, and this time, Cold Sierra will come alive with a big double kill and a round for FaZe. It's going to start getting scrappy. There's nobody second guessing on either one of these teams. They're going for fights. These are lovely taps from Zaiwu with the P250 out at long. That was so clean. One there and a second to follow oh up right God. towards Catwalk. First bullet as well. It's fortunate Coldzera had such an aggressive flank because that was the only way it felt like they were going to recover from that situation. 10 to 6 in the favor of Vitality. I actually kind of like the play from Apex to make the jump down and then turn around because if Cold Sierra misreads that and just, you know, tries to get a little bit too quick to the corner and, you know, overswings a bit, that could be pretty lethal. So I think that was still pretty good thinking. They're all grouped up and there is one HE on Brokey, which is quite far away from the action. So we're not going to be seeing any big explosions. We do have our Nico with a scout. Oh, uh, well, they're going to be run boosted in, so they're going to get a little bit close maybe. Nico there with the pistol. Rain went down, and yeah, the pistol will do everything that he wanted. Another flashbang to set him up. He's back for revenge, and Apex will finally put him down. So, should be the end of the round here. Some, some decent defense coming out from FaZe. Yeah, nice shooting from uh, from Nico. Starting to get warmed up a little bit. Cold Zera's uh, creeping up the scoreline as well with 13 kills. Looking to join him. That USP is clean. These are great shots. Closing the gap. It's now just three rounds that separate the two squads heading into the first buy rounds. i has got a glass cannon AWP. Four AKs around it with plenty of utility. Yeah, this is uh, some good amount of farm pile coming out on Vitality. It could be pretty dangerous in this round. Rain trying to look over the smoke. Does a bit of damage. Still pretty, uh, pretty good there. I'm on the catwalk again. I mean, if they go right now to A, it's at least going to be a free bomb plant. Looks like they've got the right idea. Yeah, and I don't know how FaZe would get back into this. If Vitality just attack it now, which I, I don't know what they have holding them off. Usually there's like one smoke that's dropped or a nade in that choke point that slows down the hit. With this arsenal, a scout, Famas, SMGs. I don't know how you retake this. So Nico's going to try and get some uh, pixel perfect shots. But it almost feels like FaZe has to just kind of save. It'd be nice if they could find shocks on Catwalk. That's an AK-47 they might be able to snag. Good shot from Zaiwu up on scout. That's an easy battle to win. They might line up for shots instead. Again, right, taking the AK-47 would be nice because that's the other problem, isn't it? If you end up saving, but what you're really saving is a couple of MP9s and a scout, doesn't feel that amazing going into the next round, so now at least it's looking a little bit better for the phase side in terms of the weapons here, but that's a good call. I mean, phase just out of position. You could see Nico, Nico trying to get back from, from long, but he just kept running into flashbangs, and they might, uh, or they certainly will find Bimasi. I don't see him making it out of this one alive. Trying to smoke himself up to buy a bit of time, but yeah, he's stuck in that corner, and surely they're going to swing in the last second here. Spray through. He lives through the round. That's impressive. Yeah, he's a bit, he's lucky to get away with that one. I honestly thought he was just going to commit to those fights out towards long and try and take the op away from Zaiwu. 11 to 7, and it's a good thing he survived because they needed that. They had to drop a gun over to a teammate. FaZe is very low on money early on in this half. They need a clean win. Vitality with a four-round lead and a reset here would put them a little bit further, uh, closer to victory in the series. So FaZe backs against the wall right from the get-go in the second half. What a resurgence it would be if FaZe were to make it back and win this map. And 
the decider would be Inferno. We all have to cross our fingers it gets there. That would be fantastic. Grimaus is going to get run down. Rain with one good kill. Back up is there. Oh, what a turn from RPK. He didn't get flashed from that. Apex takes two of them down, but wasn't expecting, what, a fourth man over at long? That's a ridiculous defense and shocks. He can still win this, tapping away at range, and Nico was not ready. He goes down, and just like that, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Famas versus AK. And shocks though, the bomb is going to be his to pick up and try and make the cross here. Brookie, he's got... I mean, you talk about new players coming in and playing at a high level. What a lot of pressure on him. When they might run into each other in it's middle. It's a long time... This is a long time for this clutch to play out. And remember, Shox is one of the best clutchers in CSGO history. Brokey, if he keeps looking this way, he'll have information, but he's just going to turn. He's going to turn out of the vision. He never saw it. Oh, no. And he's only got a Famas. He hasn't been able to upgrade either. Shox has so many advantages in this. Unless Brokey makes a perfect read, a blind read out of nowhere. But I, at this juncture, I don't think you do it if you're Brokey. You're centralized. And if you drop down off catwalk, you're making noise cues. And that's exactly what you want to avoid yeah. in this situation at the moment. And now Shox is just going to have so much time to set up. Now he definitely knows. No kit on Brokey either, but in a one-on-one, -on -one, probably less of a factor. He does have a flashbang and a Molotov. Don't know if the Molotov is going to be that helpful, but the flashbang definitely could be. Look at Shox, as you said, one of the best clutches we've ever had. And now, inside of the smoke, just waiting. Brokey on the other side. Shox is going to have the advantage in this one with the AK, but he still goes down. Oh, God, it's a bullet away. Yeah, celebrate with a little bit of teabagging. I can't really blame him. Wow. I, I, I really want... I mean, we know want... those fights... I really want Inferno, Jason. Can we have it? <laughs> yeah, can we just make a petition quickly in Twitch chat to uh, to get Inferno, no matter what happens? Ah, those fights are so, so sketchy. We know they're a coin toss, and you're right. That fourth player completely throws off Apex. But, I mean, we saw Vitality do the same thing at times. We've seen teams plenty start with four players heading towards longer, just being at the A bomb site in case this kind of a play comes out. And shocks, yeah, frustration. A little bit pissed off. Nico's hyped up. Even I, if the numbers aren't there for Brokey, the impact of winning that clutch is huge for the team. Yes, it definitely is. They're going to be rushing long again. Cyber leading. They do get smoked and flashed into a bit of a more composition here. Actually, it looked to me like Brokey moved just as the smoke was failed, just as Shock started shooting. So I think he maybe dodged like the first bullet or two, which is really critical. Look at look at what Vitality have. Control of long, which is great, but they've only got one smoke and two flashes. I would imagine if they can walk up long without being spotted with no pressure, I think this is going to be a pop flash peek towards CT spawn. I don't think they're going to bother with the smokes because they don't have the two, and Nico can't see this. He's going to have no warning. Okay. Just no, oh, that's a great shot. That was the flashbangs. Those were the flashes, and Nico builds upon it. Bimas turns as well. Oh, it was the last possible second for FaZe to see what was coming. Yeah, they finally take down Nico, but some beautiful headshots with the scout. Yeah, that really was imminent danger to that A bomb site. They're about to be in a lot of trouble. Apex tapping away and spraying towards Cold Sierra. Great uh, performance and output once again from Apex, making the round a bit expensive. But it's 11-9, favoring Vitality. FaZe are on a comeback right now. Officially, they've won four out of five rounds in this second half, and the money is gone for Vitality. Oh, it's interesting, isn't it? Man, that works so perfect for FaZe. He kills Zaiwu, who had the flashes for that peak, so they have to swing without them. If there had been a flash, Bimas would have been so blind, he would have just gone down for free, and then you have Nico with the scout to defend against, you know, at least two AKs crossing over. That was almost a complete disaster. This round, however, like, this has to be a clean round for FaZe. I, you have to imagine the comms are just like, no one do anything stupid. Stay alive. Prioritize your life. They have won four of five rounds in the second half, but they've had no chance to build up any economy. They've had no chance to get themselves some breathing space to feel comfortable. They've been on the verge of being reset every single round in this half. Nico is here with a USP and one flashbang. That's that's interesting. And they have an AK on shocks. I mean, it's a kill from Brokey. That's out the middle. RPK trying to be the aggressor. Rain has now joined Nico. 
that's really, really helpful. He's going to be there to tap them in the face, and that AK-47 never really got put into play. Nico could even uh, run and pick it up. I think he's just going to be there in time for it. Oh, we barely missed it. But anyway, he's going to uh, get the AWP instead now. So it's 10-11. Good round out of phase. Man, I'd be so impressed if they could make this back. It's it's looking like they're starting to build it. They're showing they're showing some competency on this second half in the CT side. Five to one run. This is their map, so I mean, if you're gonna make a comeback and you're gonna you're gonna force a third map, it's it's fitting that it would be on your own map selection of Dust Two. Shocks in middle all by himself. He's just a fake. He's only got a P250. He's pulled the support player out of the B bomb site. That's Rain who might need to hustle back because Cold Zero is in mid as well, and Brokey's about to have everything applied onto his position. Oh, they line up in front of him. What a spray down from Brokey. It couldn't have been any more perfect, and he could just chill out right now. Doesn't need to go back and fight through the smoke. There's not much to be gained at all. Shox is trying to take this bomb site, but the bomb is trapped over on the other side. He's gonna find Bamas. That's a bit interesting. Still a two on three, and again, this is why you don't want to be fighting through the smoke if you're Brokey over there. Don't, don't go down needlessly. They're gonna go for this. Shox is rotating back and he's got an AWP. Zaiwu just needs to sit tight and be patient. Once the op gets here, they can see if they can find anything. If anyone's gonna make a mistake from phase, you can see it's Cold Zera in middle, making sure the B bomb site can't get flanked out. But it's a two on two here. And if this pick comes out into the bomb site, that's under rain. Oh dear, FaZe would be in some trouble. 38 seconds of the clock and the bomb has been picked up. Yeah, but look at where Cold is. He's all the way out in the middle. He can, he can lock them in here. I'd actually like the idea of them sort of walking away from this and, and just trying to set themselves up nicely, but Cold should have a, a pretty much a lockdown position on this. Looks like Sai was actually, or Shox is maybe looking this way, but no, they're going to be walking right into it. Nice kill from Cold here, and that'll seal the round, no doubt about it. 17 seconds, and a good double kill for Cold here. Obviously, Brokey with the triple spray down the peak. It was absolutely perfect into it. They came out of the smoke and right into the gun barrel of that AK-47. Second timeout for Vitality called now. Apex and the coach want to talk some things over, figure out the game plan. No plant, so they're not going to be able to afford to buy even with a full loss bonus. You have to think this is going to be a, a small investment. Pistols and armor, some utility, some things to cause damage. Try and get them a bomb plant into a site. But FaZe starting to uh, take hold, and now they have some, some money flowing behind them as well. Nico's low, but everyone else has cash behind this investment. All tied up. What a return from phase this is. I mean, it's just impressive. Nico leading the, the way back with 22 kills, but Cold Zero is there at 17. So it's been a real resurgence from him as well. It's really worth pointing out because he is one of the pillars of this team for sure. The mask going to be lead, a little bit of a defense out there on long, but inside of the smoke, they don't want to be fighting any. They back on out. Don't really blame them, even against the pistols. It's, it's not worth it. Don't give them the guns early on here. Just try and play this one as safe as you can. Well, back to the B-bomb site they go. It'll be Cold Zera in defense. Brokey's going to be in middle for the moment with an AK-47. And this is uh, the final destination of Vitality. No utility. So Shox will lead the way with the Deagle, although that might get delayed. Another smoke is coming in. They're going to go through it. They second guess, but they've decided to come through. Cold Zera turns and spots it. Wild spray. Good trade from Zaiwu, but a better sequence from Brokey and Cold Zera. Two kills apiece. And FaZe take a one-round lead. Their first lead of the game. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But yeah, you're right. And they've also built up a fairly decent sized economy on that other side. Going through the smoke or not going through the smoke, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, maybe if you're lucky and you rush through, I, I bet if they had a flashbang, it would have been even better. They could have underhanded it through and just tried to go for it. But I don't mind that they went for it in, in this instance. I mean, that was all, that was all just a, uh... A little bit of an intermission as we're waiting for this round to get underway. Zaiwu with an op in his hand again, and full rifles for Vitality. Another chance, another start with the defaults, and four rounds one more time for FaZe. 
as after the save, they were expecting a buy. They wanted to make sure they wouldn't get punished out towards long. A boost up in mid to protect against the mid to be split. And if Rain stays in CT spawn, which I imagine he will since Brokey's normally the support player towards the B bomb site, that means Fade Phase is reading this as an eventual hit towards the A bomb site. Brokey just going to be able to watch and peer over smokes if it does fall into mid to B. So a lot of uh, a lot of trust in Cold Zera, and this... actually I think I think that's exactly what they're gonna get. Yeah, I feel like this boost in the beginning when people invented it was so efficient, and I feel like lately it's it's been doing less and less. But we'll see. Brokey could be the the one to bring it back right here, standing up at the right time, and he'll take down one player inside of the bomb site. Cold Zero hiding at the back of the plateau behind that smoke. They're right down in front, and he knows Shocks is coming for him. Forty seconds on the clock. A leg shot coming through. It almost forces him into it. He's waiting for it. If Shock stands up, he could be dead. Oh, it's a teammate instead. Brokey coming in. A hero from the window to help him out and suddenly it's turned against vitality it's a one versus four and Simon might be good but that's not going to be enough what a great play from Brokey yeah that's uh that's a godlike performance of him rotating over all the way from behind the smokes and CT spawn as well I don't know how Zaiwu spotted him to get that leg shot but what an incredible job done in support of Cold Zera who's yeah. just playing delay tactics at the back of platform he had nothing and yeah, that'll get you hyped up. Your teammates starting to get engaged, starting to get switched on, and getting stuck into the game finally. Nico with 23, Cold Zera 20, 13 on Rain and Bimas, and, 20, and uh, 15 on Brokey. You have to imagine. Phase seem fired up. Look at this second half, Anders. This has been yes. an incredible run. Eight to one in the scoreline of the second half. But they're doing a remarkable job right now. You have to imagine that Cold Sierra was just holding his breath inside of that smoke, trying to <laughs> make no noise. I mean, if he'd started running out, Shocks could have stood up and, and taken him down, especially after the leg shot. That is as close. Tech Nines and Deagles now, but what? Yeah, what a return for phase this is. I, I can hardly believe it. Yeah, but it's got to make you happy with Inferno coming up next. If they can just hold yes. on to it, everyone, everyone's wish comes through, comes true. Two players in lower dark. Catwalk is already taken over by Apex. He's close up to the corner. This time, at least, there's a little bit of utility. So Vitality can actually... I mean, there is an element of danger. Once you add utility to these pistols, once there's that level of a losing bonus, these rounds uh, are, are just essentially the same as gun rounds. Here we go. They're going to try and run it one more time. This time, there's no one in middle. They're all inside of the B-bomb site, but they're flashing their way out into a fight, and it's a great fight for now. A lot of damage. It's Brokey with another triple kill. Instead of reloading, just picks up another M4 and does get taken Ooh. down at the very least. Still a 2 on 3 that they should have a very, very low percentage chance to win. Just need to coordinate this. Use the grenades and don't see them winning this with just a Tech-9 and a Deagle. It'd be so unlikely. Shocks is up in the window waiting for it, and they're going to get one chance here with the flashbang. Counting the seconds now and setting it up. This has got to be one of the best Eagles we've ever seen for this to work out, and he's got to get counter flash as well at the very same time, so he couldn't actually swing for that. Now they're coming through the window, and they're going to run them over. Bimas comes in with the double, but it was Brokey that started it all off with a good triple spray down. And great teamwork from Brokey and Cold Zera. Both that time handling the B defense much differently against a mid to B split. Both of them pouncing out of the door and window, taking the fight to them and not even letting themselves be split. An even better retake. You're right. That pop flash from the face side of things completely ruined the game plan from Zaiwu and Shox. It still would have had to be something magical with that Deagle, but the, the pop flash neutralizes everything. And FaZe are rolling. 9-1 to one now in the second half. You mentioned this on Nuke. We've seen at times Vitality having a very good half and then disappearing in the next one. We saw it yesterday against Navi on Inferno. And that's got to make Vitality a bit nervous about that third map coming up next. Oh, but look at this. They, they're back at the B bomb site. This is what, the third round in a row that they just decide to do this kind of a B split? And this time it's going to work. They saw something. Do I don't know what it was. They Do they see both ops? I, I mean, that might have been the tell, but they fell into that mid B split so convincingly. Apex saw something and dropped off Catwalk and just led the way. Yeah, maybe a level of research that we just don't know about. Again, I mean, that that's what a lot of the research is about, right? It's, it's discovering one piece of a pattern and just, you know, guessing the rest in your mind and acting on it. I'll be honest, though, this feels much less to me like a vitality that's gone missing. It's much, it's much more of a phase that's really, really, really warmed up right now. 
Okay, that's fair. They have been uh, performing performing very admirably in this second half, as compared to the first, especially. 14-12, Vitality just two rounds away. If you are uh, joining us late in the day, first map was a win from Vitality, 19-15 on Nuke. FaZe had to win the last four rounds of the half to force that overtime. 14-12 here on map number two as FaZe tries to take us to a third map of Inferno. This is the loser bracket final. The winner plays Complexity in the grand finals later on today. The winner and Complexity would secure themselves a spot in the global final no matter what happens in the grand finals of the spring series. Yeah, which is a big deal as well. Apex sent himself out on long. Look at how he's running with his back. You can hear the flashbangs popping behind him. Oh, and it's a great double entry. Absolutely brilliant teamwork. He's got his back turned the whole swing around there. And you could hear two or three flashbangs popping and then he just turns for the kill. That was well done. Now it's double up and an M4 left on the phase side. Very tricky to win this three versus five here. They actually have a chance just because Vitality isn't gonna, they, they're not grouped up out here towards long. They're still spread across the map. So there's a chance for those AWPs to get a pick. The, the bigger, the bigger interesting decision FaZe is gonna have to make is if they don't get a successful pick, you know, Cold Zero with this AWP out towards long, how do they actually get together so they can save all these weapons? You can see Brokey and Nico starting to retreat into the safety of the B bomb site. But Cold Zera is pretty committed, and he's just crossing his fingers and hoping nobody comes catwalk. That is close. Cyber will have heard that whiz right past him. Goes for a peek again. And this time, Cole will take him down. He misses the second shot, which he definitely needed to hit. I think Brokey and, and Nico, it's better to walk away from this. Let him have that 13th round, and then come back and fight the next round. Still plenty of money. That's the best thing you can say for FaZe is that finally throughout this win streak, remember early on after six rounds of this half where they'd won the majority of them, they still didn't have any cash flow. At least now, off the back of a seven to nothing run, they have some money to toy with and that lets them sustain a loss in this fashion. So Vitality fighting back and now coming for the hunt. They too have money in the bank. So they're more than happy to throw away some AK-47s. Three players committed. One sticking back to watch for the ninja defuse. That's always a good idea. Especially when you've had one yourself. Don't want to don't wanna come back and have that happen to you. Good triple from RPK. They get to steal the last of the rifles, which actually is a pretty big deal. Um, not that FaZe can't buy in this round, but... You know that that could that could be a way to lose this game right now if you're phase. If you run out of money and they did just put everything into the round here. Oh god, it's 14 yeah, it's so say, interesting. The success of that hunt actually gives Vitality maybe not a chance to just win the map, but a, a definitely a chance to like a chance to get the 15 first, right? And give you that one opportunity to take the map. That was close on the cross. Yeah. More flashbangs coming out from us. Completely blinded, but they're not all falling away. Masuta, no one's checked it. Oh, he got into safety, and he's got two. Again, all three kills. And Masuta trashes the defense at long. And now the economy comes into play. It's the fact that he's so far behind him. He was unflashed for a second, too, and he was like, hello. And then it's just three kills. Oh, Apex nearly took the face right off Cold Sierra there, and he still might. It's going to be one guy left, and this is all the money. I mean, this isn't just going to be 14-14. It's going to be practically a free round, the next one for Vitality. So very likely, they're going to be at 15 before phase, and what a dev They just waited this whole time. The first run here for phase at the beginning of house was absolutely amazing. It looked like they were going to be cruising right into Inferno, and now the French are back, winning three in a row, and they've looked like spectacular rounds. Well, I mean, we saw FaZe a couple of times stacking four players out towards long to prevent something like that from happening, but these last two rounds from Vitality, I don't even know if a fourth player would have helped. <laughs> it was such a convincing take from Vitality both times. Now, the one nice thing that FaZe have, because sometimes losing your economy in the 29th round uh, it can be a huge, huge issue. It's still a problem, but FaZe have three rounds of a losing bonus built up. So they're yeah. going to get... 2,900 in the next round, which means they'll have plenty of money to get AWPs. They'll have plenty of money for utility. They're obviously going to have to fight one round again to force overtime. 
which you never want to be in that situation, but at least you've got, you know, the money and the weaponry to do it properly. Rain waiting in the middle. He'd love to just get one pick off here with the deagle, that smoke. It's going to be gone soon. He's counting the seconds. When it disappears, he's going to go for the fight in the middle. He does a lot of damage, and that probably could have been a kill. Colts will find RPK, but I don't think that's quite enough. That's not the trade they were looking for. Big opportunity there. Nico out here with another Deagle. We know his Deagle can be very good, but there's so much firepower on the other side, and they dug down past the first one. Good headshot on one, and now they're all on top of him. They'll jump him down with the Tech-9. That's a pretty cool little trick. It's been oh, no. to take on Apex, and now it's a two-on-two. -two. The bomb was uh, just being planted. That could have been scary. Well, the, the problem for Vitality is there's one on Catwalk, so they're stuck in the bomb set and on railing, which exposed them to this push from Cold Zera. It's Masuta watching this, and he's got to be perfect. If Cold Zera can turn this corner, fades out the shot, he knows it's an AK. Oh, he gets the dink, but can't complete things. And now Bimas picks up the pace, and that bomb is ticking so fast. There's one. He's got a Molotov as well. No, he doesn't. He's already used it, but it's not planted for Zaiwu. He's got to stick this. Zaiwu's again going to go for the jump, and he can't get it, but there's no kit. Op is going to oh. be busted out, and FaZe gets so close, but so far away. 15-14. I mean, fair play to FaZe. That is, that's close enough that, um, that it almost counts. Again, Rain in the middle, he probably could have had that kill. This was just such a close round, but you're right. 15-14. Vitality investing everything they have into the round. They've got plenty of money, almost 13,000 on Misutra at the beginning of his. And FaZe, they get this AWP for free. And they're going to go for it here. Let's see if we can have overtime on map number two as well. Now, the question is, do they want to go for a B-split here, or do they want to go for the same long take that they've been successful with? I, I'm honest to God, I'm trying to think of it from the point of view from FaZe. Are you going to try and mount that defense and stay at the corner again, or are you just going to give it up? You've been, you've been trucked there twice in a row late in this half. Do you have the confidence to go for it again out of this timeout? If I'm Vitality, I, I mean... I would go for that long play with the amount of success it's had. Like, you, you can really get rolling with that kind of long attack once you feel the defense doesn't have it. And that's exactly what they've called, and FaZe is going to meet him there. This is a big battle. Apex, the opening kill again. The Moss comes in late, and Apex can't handle it, but a big trade for Zaiwu. Uh, well, you, they just cannot stop that kind of a play. They keep losing. This was even better than the other times, at the very least for FaZe. They didn't just all get wiped out. But a two-for-one trade that Vitality love. And it, again, the luxury is it happens in the first 10 seconds of the round. So they have so much time to now figure out how they want to win this four versus three. It, well, they also have a lot of information. They've spotted Cold Zera pushing towards Upper Dark. Shock's also back in T-spawn. Uh, spotted Brokey crossing over towards the A-bomb site. And he's still got an eye on it. So he knows Brokey hasn't crossed back. So they know it's just one player. Now it is Cold Zera, to be fair. Not an easy player to flush out, but he's used his ut utility early in that aggression towards Upper Dark. So it's going to eat time off the clock to clear this out safety, safely. Oh, he has but no smoke. But look at the two plays. Yeah, but there's two players at long for phase. They're so far away from helping Cold Zera. Yeah, they are. And they're going to be fighting Saibu here. Nice pick off, but the problem is still Cold can't put up any Molotov. If he ducks down behind this and they throw a grenade on him, he can't get out. He's going to fight them straight up. And so far, no grenades have been thrown. And Shox will take him down. It's a pretty brave effort there for Cold Sierra. 25 seconds here, and it's a 2 on 2. And this is about FaZe trying to live into overtime. Bomb is going to be put down. And RPK and Shox left on the other side. A little bit of a Molotov. They're going to come flying right through into RPK, and he'll take them down. It's 